Hi, and welcome back to my video blog. I'm Rich Workman, sitting here in my work mortgage office on Sunday afternoon, getting ready to go to Tallahassee. I want to keep informed. Uh, again, I'm Rich Workman, representing District 30 in Brevard County. Uh, last week, both the House and the Senate passed their versions of the budget. At the, in the end, they're about the same amount of cuts. Um, they look a little different, though. The House looks about $66.5 billion, down from $70 billion, where the Senate's about $69 billion. Uh, however, the the Senate rolled up a lot of budgets. Uh, they rolled in the, the, the clerks, they rolled in the um, uh, water districts, water management districts. So although they did a lot of cuts, their budget seems bigger because they included other people's budgets for the first time. Um, at the end, we both cut about 17% of the state's portion of the budget, uh, probably the single largest cut in Florida history to the state budget. Pretty significant. Um, nothing was left untouched. Um, Unfortunately, education is going to get a hit, um, even criminal justice is going to get a hit, transportation a hit, um, but I think it's important. <clears throat> I think it's important that when the state is suffering so much, the bu so must the budget of the state. And uh, this represents to me kind of a rollback, a rollback to a 2005 era budget um, because that's where the state is. After 2005, we hit an artificial boom. We all know that. That's nothing new. Unfortunately, the state and the local governments, most of them, spent like the boom wouldn't end. And, and as a result, we find ourselves with what I consider uh, a fat-filled budget or a, a thick budget in a time of, of, uh, of uh, a lean time. And it's only prudent to roll back the budget to the level it was or the way, level it should be, to match the growth of the state, to match the, uh, the, 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 the um, how many people are in the state, just like it was back in 2005. We haven't experienced a steady growth since that point. Um, so now the budgets go to conference. We have differences. We'll have to iron those out in conference. Uh, that's when the House and the Senate get together and kind of battle out for, for uh, certain issues. Uh, I'll give you an example. The Transportation Trust Fund took a hit in the House budget. No hit in the Senate, so obviously there's compromise there. We'll see that move. Um, so we'll continue to work that out. Part of the budget in both the House and Senate was pension reform. Most of you know that I ran the pension reform for the Florida House, HB 1405. They both passed significantly different in the end. Uh, my bill play, stayed pretty strong to what you've seen in the previous blogs. 3% contribution from all employees. Um, I extended the age and years of service uh, before someone is eligible to get their first pension check. Um, we've described that in earlier, er, earlier blogs. And lastly, it drops drop. My bill terminates the drop program, the defer, the, the deferred retirement program um, on July 1st, 2011. For everybody, the age limit only affects the new hires. The Senate, on the other hand, did a few different things. They had a tiered approach to the uh, contribution, 2% um, uh, up to 25000 Four percent up to fifty thousand. Um, at the end of the day, I think it actually will cost more to the citizens. I'm hoping to go to conference and um, c get them off of the tiered program. I think three percent across the board is a fair way to do it. Uh, they they phase out drop instead of um, just dropping drop like my plan. There's some merit to that. Problem is no savings to the state immediately. So I would prefer to save drop in a very small box. Do away with double dippers. Do away with high income earners. Uh, uh, do away with um, um, the ability to, for a drop to be abused and keep drop, get that savings this year. The state also, excuse me, the Senate also did away with the COLA. Uh, that's a cost of living adjustment. Um, currently in the state, it's fixed at 3% a year for our retirees. Um, the Senate says no more accrual of that. So if you have it now, you'll keep it, uh, but you won't accrue anymore. Um, our plan leaves COLA in place. I think there's room for a compromise there. I think drop should be tied to the CPI. Uh, so I think that if we save drop and, and, and move COLA to the CPI, we could see a savings equal to just dropping drop. So I think there's some compromise in there. I'm looking forward to working through conference with the Senate on our pension reform bill. Lots of things happen this week. Um, Next week, a lot of bills will go to the floor. Um, we're continuing to do a lot more of these repealers. We're continuing to um, uh, try to uh, fix the insurance markets here in Florida, we're trying to fix citizens. Um, so that's now that the budget is passed, we're going to move into the, the nuts and bolts of bills. Um, I have another um, uh, bill coming up to attract more jobs to Space Coast. You'll see that on the floor this week, hopefully, uh, HB 243. Um, uh, well, that's about it. I think that uh, we'll touch base more on next, next Sunday, next Monday. Um, with some more exciting news. Again, I'm Rich Workman. You can uh, check me out on my website at richworkman.com. You can email me at rich at richworkman.com. 
You can blog with me at myfloridavoice.com, and you can always visit the state site, myfloridahouse.gov. And Facebook, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.